All right, Levi and I are on this job today. The plan is to do a little bit of a cleanup on this property. So, these people bought this property about a year ago and it came with a bunch of stuff from the previous owner, which they want cleaned up. So let's walk around and take a look at everything. So, in this, the first thing, there's a bunch of dump bodies. So there's like one there. Uh, they want this school bus gone. So I'm just kind of measuring it. It's a little over 30 feet. So I may try to cut that in half or use my friend's longer trailer. So this thing here, they want to keep. This is pretty cool. The previous owner of this place, this guy must have been pretty interesting. Um, check out this shop he built here. So it's built out of like a trailer or something. So he's got a pit down there. Which is which you're walking on like a suspended work platform. And then this whole thing has, has got this roof with these nice big gantries up here for lifting stuff up. Plus he had this box here for keeping his tools in and I'm sure he kept more stuff in that bus. So we're leaving this, we're leaving this box right here since it's kind of attached to this thing, but that bus looks ugly. They want to get rid of this other box right here. Probably get rid of this old trailer right there. A couple dump bodies right there. Yeah, check out this thing. Look how cool this is. All right, so the other thing they want cleaned up is this thing right here. So the, it's kind of like a carport where they use some beams and some metal sheathing and put a roof between this truck body, this mobile home, and another truck body. And although it does provide some dry storage, they said they don't like looking at it. So they want to put up a nicer garage in this spot. So we got to get this cleaned up as well. All right, the other cool thing that the previous owner of this property was doing was he was chiseling out all this bluestone by hand. Now this used to be a big industry in this area like 150 years ago and it kind of died out. But so what people used to do is they go in areas like this and these stones, you could see they have like these natural seams in them. And if you chisel them just right, you can get them out in big square pieces. So that guy must have been doing that for a while, but check out all these cool pieces here. You know, these long ones like this, that could be a nice mantle. And here's a bunch of stuff here all ready to go. Nice big flat pieces cut into squares. I mean, that's a big piece too. Look, see? Look at this one here. That's like seven feet by probably five feet. And they want me to move that too, so. All right, uh, let's get to work cleaning up some of that scrap metal. So I brought my Hitachi here because I probably need that for like picking up school buses and stuff. So let's get this unloaded and we'll get to work. not leave with an empty truck and trailer so let's load up some of these dump bodies so kind of looking at them I don't know there's no tailgate no headboard maybe that one's junk this one's definitely junk it's all rotted out one here is bigger it's for like a six-wheeler size truck but this one looks good there's a tailgate the floor is good it's not rotted you know if that had a coat of paint on it and was installed on a truck so I'm gonna keep that one I don't want to just have junk at my house though, so hopefully someone else wants it.
All right, since I got these out, these are actually pretty nice. I mean, not this one's missing the headboard and the tailgate, which isn't great. You know, it's for like a one ton. But this one here, that's all complete. You know, it's for a bigger truck. You know, something similar to this Ford, really. So let's try to rehome that. Check out this wind. that body there that's going on a three hour drive and that's going on a Mac R model You know what, I was gonna try to sell this as a trailer, but you know, seeing that. You know, I think, I think the only place that's gonna want this is the scrap yard. I mean, I put it online already and people are like, trying to trade me like they're offering me like 10 bucks and trying to trade me stuff i'm like dude it's just all right i'm, I'm just scrapping that forget about it
that. That's pretty cool. F600, huh? That's cool. All right, so next I want to deal with this school bus. So let's see what we got to do to move this. I think I'm going to just try to move it as one piece. So as far as underneath, there's no axles, just pretty much a bare frame. As far as the front goes, no axle, no engine. pretty cool but I mean buses like this you can get these things running so cheap I've been at auctions before and these things have been selling for like 1500 bucks you know but ready to drive and nice just because they're kind of picky with school buses like once they get old I just replace them all right well let's uh, try to load this up all right, here's our ride right here. Gee, that's supposed to be longer than my trailer. <laughs> Looks about the same.
All right, so here's the weight slip from the scrapyard. That bus weighed 8,600 pounds. They took out 1,000 pounds because the floor was made out of wood. So that was 381 bucks for that. And then my load was 4,700 pounds, so 235.
All right, that maybe wasn't the smoothest way to do that, but I got them on. So that's pretty good. Let me tie those down really well now. All right, found a good home for this. My friend wants it. What are you trying to do? I mean, can you lift it up? I'll flip the ramps, or? All right, now it's time to deal with this thing. So I could like take these roofs down like piece by piece, but I think I got a funnier way to do this.
All right, so the plan is now I wanna load up some of this aluminum siding. So I already did all the tin, that's like all the steel, and loaded that in my dump truck. And this is all the, I guess, number one steel, the thicker metal, which pays a higher price. And then the aluminum, to actually get the aluminum price, it has to be clean aluminum, like, so that's good, but it can't have like pieces of wood attached to it. That's all gotta be off of it. So I'll just go through this kind of by hand and get this loaded up.
out of inside this box right here. So this is, must have been where the guy. So this is, must have been where the guy kept his welder, because you can see he's got his welding helmets here, all his welding rods, and a bunch of little pieces of metal. And here's the uh, power plug for his welder right there. All right, so they want this container moved out of here. Let me just go through this. Since I'm gonna keep some of this stuff, but a lot of it's just essentially just drops. You know, when a bigger piece of metal was cut, this was what was cut off of it. So recycle like half of this stuff. Even like this here, you know, this is a nice thick plate, but you know, weird shape like that. It just sit around forever. All right, I guess I'll uh, keep the rest in here. So there's a few useful pieces. And and anyone who thinks I threw out anything good, if you go look at a dumpster of a steel yard, that's what it looks like.
get these uh, two containers moved out of here. I gotta move this compressor.
All right, it's raining pretty good out. It's a good time to burn this pile up. I just finished cleaning up this fire, so that's good. I had that done, you know, that was like three quarters of a day to take care of that and have the thing completely out. There was a hole in the woods over there, I just kind of pushed everything in that and then covered it up with some mud. So there's uh, no chance of that starting a fire again. All right, well, that looks good. The weeds will grow back here in no time, so. Uh, let's go, I think there's a little bit of tree work to do out here. Let's go check that out.
right, now I can pull that out of there without worrying about hitting anything. This area looking good all right so I just finished up doing all the work here so this is the spot where those uh, campers and carport thing were so that looks a lot better they're talking about maybe putting another garage here it's a good spot for it nice and high all right and they decided on keeping this one box here because it's kind of welded to this garage thing this is actually pretty nice you know with this pit it's a good uh, place to work on a vehicle it could be closed in too and this is where I had that fire and I got that all cleaned up nice. The Bobcat actually worked pretty well here. I was gonna bring the IHI, but that was on another job. So this is good that this thing, you know, worked fine. That that one error like it did come on a few times where I had to shut the machine off and restart it, but I think it happened four times on the whole job, so it's definitely runnable. So this trail here, the next thing they want me to do here is there's like a road there that's getting really overgrown and they want it they want me to mow it so I brought the mower here so that's gonna be the next video this is the spot over here where I kind of dumped everything you can see it was just like you know the perfect spot for it It was just a hole with uh, water on the bottom oh look at that still smoking huh whenever I should worry about that this was days ago now Uh, this spot looks pretty good. Alright, well, we're all done here. 
Well, except for the mowing, but let's uh, get started on that right now.